I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you don't know about Siamese Mahjong yet, this is when you play two hands at one time against one opponent. The rules have been modified from the four player game to make it very challenging and a lot of fun. Look for links in the video description below for those rules. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between player one and player two. Player one gets 28 tiles, player two, 27. We have three jokers, a flower, red dragon, pair of white dragons. Here we have a pair of norths and an east. For cracks, we have one, two, three, six, pungs of ones and threes. For dots, singles, two, three, four, nine. In bams, two, four, seven, nine, pairs of fours and nines. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play one, two, three consecutive run concealed with dragons using these. And then maybe a wind hand north and south with nines might work. This is what I would do. A wind hand north and south with nines, maybe. Use this for joker bait here. Here, one, two, three, with opposite dragons. We could use this to help with the white dragon or green dragon. All we need in here to be ready to win is a two white or green dragon. I would hold the red dragon for one, two, three dragon. The other thing I was thinking is maybe that's what we could play and then use the twos up here with wins for a year hand. And play one, two, three dragon. We could use these for the twos and this for the red. And use the nines as joker bait. I think I would keep it all. Maybe play news with the year, one, two, three dragon, or one, two, three opposite dragons if we get a green dragon. I would discard these first, hold those for joker bait, maybe this and go with the year hand. I would wait and see. One of the nice things about Siamese Mahjong is you have time to develop your hand, at least through the second wall. Once you start getting to the middle of the middle wall, that's when you need to really solidify your plan. I think this is a pretty good plan though. This hand looks really good to me. If we had five cracks, we could do one, three, five with dragons, maybe. So I would keep that in mind too.
We have a joker, a pair of flowers, a red dragon, east and west. For cracks, we have one crack pair, three, six crack pair, seven, nine. In dots, we have singles, one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. In bams, we have one bam, pair of three bams, pair of six bams, eight and nine. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play three, six, nine and like numbers with ones. Like numbers with ones and dragons. So whichever dragon comes in, one dot or one bam, white dragon or green dragon. And then down here, we could maybe play the pair hand, in which case we would not need this. Three, six, three, six, nine, three, six, nine. That's pretty close. I think I would try to push that pair hand. As an option, we could maybe play three, six, nine concealed. We'd have to discard this. I would just wait and see, but hold flowers as a plan B for this pair hand. And then I would discard these, probably the wins first. We have jokers, pair of flowers, white and green dragon, east and south for wins. For cracks, we have one, two, four, five, seven, nine, pung of nines. In dots, we have a pair of ones, two, seven, eight, pair of sevens. In bams, three, four, five, seven, nine, pair of threes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play seven, eight dragon or one, two dragon. And then the odd concealed hand. Since we have a pung here, these probably would have to go. Flowers, one, three, five, single pair pung, S single pair pung. And then down here, one, two dragon or seven, eight dragon. And then whichever one we play, the other would be joker bait. If you want to know more about that strategy, look in the video description below. That is a strategy term coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. Basically, you discard a tile in the middle game, hoping your opponent will make an exposure with the joker, and on the, your next turn, you make the exchange to get the joker. It's hit or miss, but it is fun to try to get that joker in your hand. I would start by discarding... the wins, and then these. I think I would hold the nine and the green dragon just in case like numbers with nines and dragons come in. Of course, we'll need a red dragon in there. In the four player game, one of the strategies that I believe in is to play at the category level for as long as possible. You have 13 or 14 tiles to work with. In Siamese Mahjong, it's a little different because you have 27 and 28 tiles to work with. Many times, you can actually pick a hand from the onset. 
Make sure that you give yourself a plan B though, just in case, especially if you're playing a pair hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.